dude. Eric, the guy that wow. sends us tanks for RC adventures. Look at the amount of stock you have. I cannot believe it. Tell me more about this tank. Why is this one so special now? Uh, this is one of our newer Shermans. Yeah. Uh, this is the 75 millimeter. Uh, we've designed a new lower hole for these guys. So hold on, hold on. Before you go crazy, everyone's going to look at these and say, oh, these are hang long tanks. They are not hang long tanks. No, no, no. They've been since taken over and being re engineered. Uh, actually, new molds, all ours. All IMEXs. Sweet, man. Okay, well, please continue then. Uh, so, for the Sherman, we've got all new everything on this guy, and we need a new chassis design. Okay. So, what we used to do is an aluminum chassis, and then we would do a plastic tub around. Okay. Now, for the Sherman and future tanks, yeah. we've redesigned the lower hull to be a nice, sick, uh, one or two nice. piece lower hull. Okay. So we've got four screws, two screws here, two screws on the bottom that pulls off your tranny cover. Yeah. So you can get access to the steel gear boxes now yeah. included with them. And a nice, oh, look strong at that. It's lower tough. hull. Yeah. Oh man. So this guy right here is almost indestructible on the lower hull. Okay. The turret now is metal cast texture as well. It's airsoft. We have infrared versions. And then later wow. on this year, we have a 76 millimeter version coming out. Wow. And we're working on a 105 as well. Holy. Nice. So wow. the, Shermans, better. the Shermans are getting a big, big upgrade. I got, I got to, I got to tell you, please open that up again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's something that's catching my eye that is a huge difference. Metal gears? Steel CNC machine gear. No way! Yeah. That was one of the big issues we had before is that the gears, they just couldn't hold up. The motors look strong. The sound box looks different. The, everything inside is different. The smoke kit looks smaller too. Uh, we actually redesigned the smoke units a few months ago. Yeah. So now they actually output about uh, 50 to 75 percent more smoke. Everyone loves T34s. Wow! Redesigned the T34s as well. Look at the huge wheels. Oh yeah, rubber wheels, I mean, removable. The T-34 was a completely new design as well. This completely was the, new. This one was one of the first tanks that I actually had an input on. Yeah. So when we redesigned this one, let me pull the plug out here. Sure. Um, we did the chassis different as well. Yeah. So this is actually a swivel plate here, so this swivels out. Okay. The rear plate swivels out. The gearboxes can actually be removed for cleaning or any kind of uh, maintenance you'd want to do wow. without taking off the tracks or the drive wheels. Thank goodness. The drive wheels on this one are actually into mm. the back swivel plate. Wow. So you can actually, like I said, with four screws on the bottom of this tank, both gearboxes come out. Wow. Amazing the updates you guys have been doing. We've also added new 360 kits. So, so it goes all the way around? 360 kit as many times Sweet. as you want. Unlimited. Wow. So. I cannot believe how far technology is allowing us to have fun with our basically toys. These I are don't awesome. Toys anymore. I know, well, hey man, <laughs> if, if we have a Porsche Cayenne, that's a toy too, you know? Oh, Anything yeah. you can have fun with. But this one behind me, what is this? Yeah, that's killer. Which one? Looking. The King of Dirt? That's huge! That would be the World of Tanks, KV2. Wow! Straight out of World of Tanks. Yep. Yeah. Video game, eh? Uh, yeah. That's what that is, yeah? It's it, heavy. It is heavy. It uh, uses the KV1 chassis as well. Okay, yeah. One of the best suspensions we've got. Okay. Uh, metal toolboxes, uh, all the turret work. This is actually the German captured variant of the KV2. Ah. So it's actually the German one. <laughs> so this tank has the easy open chassis as well. Yeah. Uh, so the whole top pops off. Still has steel gearboxes in these. Yeah. Uh, steel gearboxes in our new Yog Tiger. Wow. Uh, the Yog Tiger is one of the biggest tanks we have now. This one here always catches my eye here. Ooh, so many of them. Get over, bring it up. That's our big Yog Tiger. Wow. That wow. is awesome. And you know, we actually got the new kits. Uh, our Tiger 1. I did the instructions for these guys myself. Personally. You? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. So, color HD pictures. Yeah. This is how a kit manual should be. Oh my gosh, look at how that nice. detail. One or two instructions per picture. That's so it should be fabulous. Nice. And the kit actually comes with both the airsoft and infrared units. So you build up to a certain point. It'll yeah. say if you want to build airsoft, start from here. Yeah. If you want to build infrared, start from here. And then they meet up in the end. The detail in here is amazing.
incredible models. These models are incredible, guys. Why, thank you, sir. Why, thank you. I can't believe the scale of these things. One sixth. They're awesome. size of that one. <laughs> it's just huge. Look at the size of this tank. 